Uh, my name is Gary Langevin. This is Brendan Murray. Together we are Team Bosch. And this is our capstone project for Bosch HVAC failure simulation. For Bosch, the project motivation behind this was for us to develop a prototype that was capable of doing HVAC failure simulation on specific components within the HVAC system. In doing that, they could apply a data and use that analysis to further improve on their products. Also, a sensor array which would constantly monitor the components and allow them to uh, remotely access their system. So this is uh, the system that we've been working with. It's a typical central air unit. It's an inverter ducted split system. This is the outside unit, the condenser unit, which houses most of the components such as heat pumps, compressors, and so forth. And this is the inside air handler unit, which houses all the thermostat controls and the fan blower unit. So to briefly explain how um, the HVAC system works, this is a typical cooling cycle on the HVAC system. Between the inside air handler unit and the outside uh, condenser unit, you have um, refrigerant lines that run between them. The compressor will take that refrigerant, pressurize it, creating hot refrigerant. That runs through the coils on the condenser unit with the fan blown across those coils, takes the heat and dissipates it outside, which in turn takes warm refrigerant inside through an expansion valve or a reversing valve and turns that into cold refrigerant. That runs through the coils on the inside air handler unit and as the, uh, the, air, the fan blower unit goes across those coils, that's what pushes the cold air through the building. In turn, that returns cool refrigerant back to the compressor. This cycle repeats over and over again and this is all controlled from one central thermostat. That central thermostat has seven controls on it, which is the, the point of our our project. The thermostat controls the HVAC unit and our job is to implement our prototype in between both of these. So with that, our anticipated best outcome is to create a platform for hardware simulation, improve on the existing sensor array, uh, a program uh, that will include uh, data monitoring and further analysis, and also include a GUI or a graphical user interface that will display real-time data on that. And here's Brendan to explain the technical aspects of what we've accomplished. Thank you, Gary. Um, like all heating and cooling systems, HVAC units use a central thermostat to set and maintain a desired temperature. The thermostat that we are currently using sends seven 24 VAC signals into the HVAC unit to control seven main components. And an algorithm determines which of these components is on or off at any given moment. However, we have no control over these signals as they are predetermined and set by the thermostat. Therefore, Bosch wanted us to create a testing platform onto which a user could input any kind of custom simulation scenario into the HVAC unit. In return, the platform would return any type of more errors and warnings. This could include anything from high or low pressure to high temperature or high power usage. Key accomplishments to date. Typically, a thermostat is hooked directly into the HVAC unit through the use of seven connections, one for each component. Um, therefore, we want to add a set of switches to the, allow the user to input any, time, any type of custom scenario and override these values. A set of relays is used to step the voltage down to something the microcontroller can handle, or 5 VDC without blowing it. The microcontroller can then output the data to a PC interface via USB. A second set of relays is used to then step the voltage back up to something the HVAC unit can handle, about 24 VAC. This is the control box prototype that we designed and created. First, there are seven inputs for connecting directly to the thermostat control signals, followed by the seven switches to allow the user to manually override any of the controls. We also left room on there for future components, such as a LCD for a data output, Finally, on the right are seven outputs for connecting directly to the HVAC unit. Um, a custom PCB was also designed and fabricated to house most of the circuitry and components inside of, it, inside of the control box. This included both sets of relays, a set of pull-down resistors to ensure the voltages going into the microcontroller are stable, 
as well as a set of headers for connecting the microcontroller onto the top of the PC. And finally, eight mounting holes were added to allow the PCB to be secured onto the surface of the control box. The remaining challenges we face will be to upgrade the sensor array to include, to improve on the existing sensors as well as include additional sensors such as coolant line pressure sensor and an airflow sensor. We will also hope to create a program for displaying and analyzing the data from the sensor array as well as to be able to integrate software and hardware additions we make this year as well as the existing hardware to be able to simulate any type of data failure. We will also we will also improve the control box by adding features such as the mentioned LCD as well as LED indicator lights. And finally, we'd like to thank all of those who have helped us along the way.